and Kelsey Davis, also known as the Radical Soul. But for those of you out there that know me, I'm a musician. No, I'm not going to play a short little ditty for nothing like that. Yes, I know you guys have been waiting for my new album to come out, but it's taking a little while because I wanted to go more in depth with this album, give you more of a story, something that you can really sink your teeth into. Now you see, I wanted to give you more than just a series of songs. You know, I wanted to bring about the feelings that, that I have whenever I have a crush or see a nice, juicy, beautiful, sweet woman in front of me. So I solicited the help of some of my friends. Uh, my friend Cassius Young, who's a story writer, or a literary artist, and uh, Bob Anochi, an uh, excellent artist from Atlanta, Georgia. And obviously you see some of the pieces that are, you know, mostly complete. They add illustration and also uh, a chronological story along with the music. It's kind of like a sing-along book or a children's book for adults. And you get to learn more about a uh, man and his extreme passion. And so we call this project Passion Fruit. Also, part one of the story of the end series. Right now, I want to introduce you to the artwork and Bob uh, Nosey, show you some of his styles, and I'm going to take you through his creative process so you know the full breadth of what we're doing in the story of Passion Fruit. Story of the part one. It ain't getting that. It ain't getting all of that. Okay, don't hate. Don't hate on yourself. There <laughs> <laughs> ain't no way in hell it's gonna be that. Techniques, bro. Can't record this, bro. I'm telling you, man. Folks, kids far and wide gonna be copying that 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 That's stroke. Just that stroke. Now, as I told you guys uh, previously, this album is really a, a story. It's kind of kind of takes on the theatrical process with, with the art and the literary aspect. And, and I want to bring that about in the music, but I also want to accompany the music and make it more round, shall we say, with art, as you can see in my backdrop, and a story. Now, I know many of you are wondering where did I keep the inspiration to do this? Well, obviously, a woman. And, you know, there's been millions of songs written about women. It's nothing new. Women have been the inspiration for art, music, and stories since the beginning of time, since man began. As you can see, we have a picture of a fruit here. And um, it kind of is shaped like the uh, derriere. <laughs> it's sweet how nature and how things that are tempting to the eye can be parallel across different things like fruit to a woman. And so I wanted my project to be a representation of, of my love affair with them and the voluptuous fruit of their form and figure. When I was a little boy, I always had a fascination with the the kind of 1920s burlesque uh, pinup models, you know, that used to accompany the, the little Coke advertisements and they would show how the woman related, you know, to the curves of the Coke bottle. I wanted uh, this project to represent that. And so I solicited an artist, a great artist by the name of Bob Anochi. The effect that I wanted to go for really 
was kind of like our own twist on 1920s pinup models. You know, like you might have seen back in the day. And, you know, the women that I grew up admiring and finding attractive were a little bit more uh, luscious, shall we say, or more plump than the average woman you would find in the pinup magazine. Women that I grew up around had, you know, thick, full lips, and, and every time they spoke, their lips moved as if they were singing a song. And that one young, fine young thing had nice, round hips. And, and every time you would see that sweet young thing that you had a crush on, your, your, your heartbeat would kind of flutter to the rhythm, her hips swaying. I want to bring that rhythm out in the music, and I also want to give you a visual. This is the album cover, and this is Peaches, and she's obviously the peach woman in this story of man, also known as Passion. I wanted to make a tribute to the voluptuous woman because that's, you know, that's what really turns me on and what makes me, you know, want to sing or write a song or, or you know, have inspiration. And, you know, we all love the, the beautiful, arrogant, luscious fruit that, that hang from, from her bold chest. And, and, I, and I wanted to bring that about in, in music, uh, imagery, and work. That's how I came up with the concept of passion. Because to me, a woman is more than just a song. You see, she's also a story. And as well, when you look at her, she's also a piece of art. And that is what the passion fruit is all about. You're going to get a complete story and illustration of this album. And this is truly my tribute to some of the most sweetest, luscious creatures ever known to man, women. And this story is called Passion. Don't look at me, nigga. That's what I said. He said, do not break the camera. Sunshine and that boy. <laughs> <laughs>